Hey guys, how are you? Long time no see. We got back last night from Ketchikan. We were there, um, it was the Alaska Credit Union League, their annual meeting, and I do have some video that I took when we were there, so once I get that edited and um, compiled, I will be uploading that. Um, and I took Bruno in today to the vet to get his puppy shots, and when I picked him up, in Vegas and he was eight weeks old he was a little over 17 pounds and today he was 31 over just over 31 pounds so he has gained a lot of weight he is getting so long and it's crazy excuse me but anyway I wanted to know if you noticed anything different about me well I'm sure you can't just by looking at me um, but I went ahead and got some hearing aids. My hearing has been less than optimal uh, for a long time and I've had ringing or tinnitus in my left ear for many years um, since I was in my 20s, uh, mid-20s at least, and um, my hearing has just gotten worse and so here in Fairbanks they have a hearing place called Northland Hearing and they were advertising on TV that they were going to have one of their reps come up and do a free hearing test and I was considering going in and um, getting a hearing test done with them but I was afraid that they were going to give do a lot of high pressure sales which I don't like and I happened to be in Sam's Club and I went in to look for new speakers for my laptop and so I was in the electronics department and I looked up and Ta-da! There was a sign that said free hearing tests. And it's their hearing aid center at Sam's Club. So I went over there and uh, Debbie, the technician, was not busy. And so she tested my hearing and definitely there's a deficit. I hear the, uh, I hear men's voices sounds in that pitch, in that range, much better than I do female voices or the higher um, pitched um, noises. And of course it showed that my left ear, the hearing was worse because of the ringing. And so what she did was she programmed, I got the hearing test done, she programmed a pair of hearing aids for me to wear around the store. And all I had to do was leave my Sam's card with her and, um, and see how I liked them. And I really liked them. Now they're expensive. They were about, it was about $3,600, $3,700 for the pair. That included the extended warranty, etc. And what they sell at Sam's Club are the Liberty hearing aids. And um, so, I, of course, I did research online, and they look like they're they've been around for a long time. They're a good quality hearing aid, and uh, they have a really nice warranty package. So my hearing aids came with this little kit. And here's some extra batteries and a cleaning tool and um, some more of these little white pieces that are on the actual hearing aid and information, da 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 da. Mike has the warranty and the receipt and everything. And then this is a little keychain if you want to put extra batteries in there. And then I got um, a pack of 36 batteries for it was like ten dollars and they're the Liberty brand and she said that they last the longest um, and they last about a week and they are the 312 size so this came with in the little kit and I bought the extra batteries so and I am so happy that I went ahead and had my hearing tested now she says if you wear hearing aids that it will um, slow down the progression of hearing loss. Whether that's true or not, I have not researched, but in a way it makes sense, but I don't know if it's true. So I took this to Catch Can with me, and I'm going to show you, and I've got my glasses on, and here, that's all really you can see. And it's this little clear plastic tube, and then behind my ear, and I have on my um, spring honey, just my medium, regular topper is the behind the ear piece and so they're pretty much invisible they're quite comfortable um, and I'm, I'll just take this one out just because I have my hair tucked and all I do is I pull 
the little clear tube and this is the whole unit and my hearing definitely feels muffled it seems muffled um, once I take them out so this is the part that goes in the ear and the blue goes in the left red is right and then the um, this is where the batteries are that you you just pull this little thingy down and there's the battery that you replace and then when I close it and put it in I get two beeps and then it goes and there's a male voice that says Adro that is the um, the the hardware the computer system or whatever that they use and it goes in here I just tuck it in and to make sure you know to get this little tube um, smooth just pull up the lobe and push down a little bit and then it has this little extended piece here that just sets in there just for added security and I am just really thrilled that I went ahead and got them. Now I didn't wear them on the plane to catch can or back because I wanted to listen to my music um, with my iPhone so I didn't do that because I had my earbuds in but um, so I just wanted to come out and do a little PSA if you have hearing loss in my opinion it's nothing to be ashamed of embarrassed about um, like I say I am going to be 59 this year so it's not unusual for me to have hearing loss but I've had hearing loss and tinnitus in this ear for since my mid-20s so if you think that you have hearing loss and it's been the big joke in the salon about what a Joan hear and what was really said because I would hear these really bizarre things and everyone would be laughing but I just wanted to say you know if you notice hearing loss and you're interested don't be embarrassed about it don't be ashamed about it like I say you can't even see it oh and then I didn't bring it out it came my hearing aids came with this jar with these little pellets in it so what happens is if you get them wet accidentally you get in the shower you forget they get wet you just open up the battery compartment take the battery out and you put them in this jar it, it it's a jar about this big around this tall about that big around it has these little pellets in it and then a sponge piece that sets on top and you just set the hearing aid in there keep it open take the battery out close it and I don't remember how long you leave it in there for um, and it will dry everything out and then what's really cool is that once the pellets um, they're mostly blue and then they have some tan colored ones let me go grab it I'll be right back sorry So this is the jar, let me put my glasses back on, so that's the jar and these are the pellets inside. So they're mostly brown and there's some blue ones and when the blue ones all turn brown then to reactivate them you place the beads into the microwave or oven safe container, not in this jar, and put in there, you can either put them in a regular household oven for 30 minutes or microwave on medium setting for no longer than two and a half minutes um, until blue two minute intervals until the blue color returns do not heat on high um, it says we recommend that you store your hearing instruments in the drying jar when not in use oh so I'm going to start storing them in here. I didn't realize that. Um, so it comes with this. I thought this is really cool. And then they have a really nice, um, there's a one year warranty and then an extended three year warranty. And so I had made mention to her that, you know, maybe I would just, you know, in four years, they'll probably have some new update, a lot of updates in the technology and stuff. And she said, oh no, she said she'll call me before, right before the four years is up. She'll send them in and they'll make them like brand new and upgrade them and for free. So. If you have any questions leave them below um, the things I, I just hear more I just hear more um, things are clearer and sharper there is no feedback buzzing or craziness in them um, these are the top of the line this particular oh geez I don't think I have that well maybe I do on this paperwork I haven't even looked at this paperwork 
Sorry about that, I need to change the setting on this. So the one that I got is the SIE 64. As she said, this is the top of the line for the behind the ear that they have. And um, just, I am just thrilled. I can hear people walking up behind me. I can hear conversations that I wouldn't have heard before. And whatever I hear is much clearer. So um, I'm thrilled. She said that the way my, I don't have my audiometry, that I, I wanted to show it to you, but I think my husband has it. But in my left ear, um, it was, my hearing loss was considered moderate severe. And this is on my right ear is moderate. So if you feel that you may have some hearing loss and if you have a Sam's Club that has a um, hearing center, they'll do the hearing test for free. You can try out the hearing aids while you're in the store and see what you think. And um, I guess the message that I wanted to get across was don't be embarrassed and don't be ashamed. I mean, it's just one of those things that happens to certain people and you know, if you can wear little hearing aids to improve your quality of life and the quality of your hearing, why not? That's what I say. So, all right, I'll just let you guys go. I know that the first video caught off, I'm not sure at what point. And um, hopefully I have all the information uh, that you need. Um, if you have questions, you want more information, feel free to leave them below and I will answer as quickly as I can. Thanks so much, you guys. Oh, and I do have, I ordered from Gallery of Wigs. Gallery of Wigs and name brand wigs, they're comparable in their price, in the shipping cost, um, uh, amount of time to ship. So I ordered the medium mono top, the, um, I'm not sure if it's Renee Paris or Noriko, but it's the medium mono top in the spring honey. So that should be coming hopefully this week. And then I was contacted by Uniwigs and asked if I would like to get in their program to review. So I have a wig coming from them. And um, I'll tell you more about that when the wig comes and I do the review. Linda is the person who contacted me. So, um, all right, you guys. Well, thanks so much for watching and hopefully the weather where you are is decent and not crazy and you're not in Oklahoma. Cindy, I was thinking about you. I don't know if you live anywhere near where the tornadoes um, have been going through, but you know, it's that time of year. Crazy, crazy. So now I'm rambling again. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll get the catch a can video up as soon as I can. Bye.